Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will install the Puppet Forge NTP module, we will learn how we can use Hira to manage module data, and finally we will deploy the code through Code Manager. So this lab will be a complete exercise from downloading a module to implement it without writing a single line of code with help of Hira, and we will be deploying this code with help of Code Manager. Alright, so we need a NTP module from Puppet Forge so go to Puppet Forge website and search for NTP module. Now clone the module in your Puppet Master or any other server. To clone the module use command git clone in the URL of the module. Once the module is downloaded you need to upload the module in your GitHub repo. Check if NTP module has been downloaded in your local folder. NTP module has Puppetlab's stdlib dependency, stdlib is the standard library of resources for Puppet modules. So download the standard library module also from Puppet Forge by running command git clone in the URL of the remote stdlib repo. Check if the standard library module has been downloaded. Now you need to upload both modules to your GitHub repo so that you can manage these with Code Manager. To upload the NTP module create repo called NTP in your GitHub repository. And add that repo to your server by running command. Git remote add origin in the name of the NTP remote repo. Make sure you have checkout to production branch by running the command git checkout b production. Once you are in production branch upload the local repository to your GitHub production repo by running command. Git push hyphen u origin production. Once the upload is successful. Refresh the page and you will find the completed NTP module on your GitHub remote repo. Now we also need to upload the standard library module to our GitHub repo so follow the same process again. Like create a repo as stlib. Switch to production branch by running command git checkout b production. And add the repo in your local server by running command git remote add, and the remote stdlib repo name. Now push the local repo to remote repo by running the command git push hyphen u origin production. Switch to production branch by running command git checkout b production. And add the repo in your local server by running command git remote add, and the remote stdlib repo name. Now push the local repo to remote repo by running the command git push hyphen u origin production. Now refresh the github page and you will get the stdlib module on your github repo. Ok so we have uploaded both the modules so let's configure the puppet file to manage these modules through code manager. So edit the puppet file and add entries as mod ntp, git equals greater than https colon slash slash github dot com slash the devops cloud slash ntp dot git. Branch equals greater than production. Mod stdlib. Git equals greater than https colon slash slash github dot com slash theta vops cloud slash stdlib dot git. 
branch equals greater than production. Now click on commit changes to save the file. Now let's add the node definition for NTP module so go to node.pp file and add entries for node1devops.com as include NTP. Now click on commit changes file to save the changes. Now we set up everything so let's deploy the environment for new changes. To verify just check the modules are not present in the module path directory. Not deploy the environment by running the command puppet code deploy production hyphen hyphen wait. Ok so the changes has been deployed so let's verify it by running command puppet agent hyphen t on node 1. Ok. So puppet run was successful and NTP modules has been configured on node 1 now. And the NTP servers are added in ntp.conf file. Now let's understand how Hiera can help TP provide the user data. As we know the NTP module is required to manage the network time protocol on agent nodes and you can have different NTP servers which will servers to your agent NTP clients so that the clients gets their time synced with those NTP servers. So let's find out how this module is written to change the NTP servers name from default to your environment NTP servers. NTP servers entries are managed through NTP module template files. So let's check the NTP template, and you will find the EPP templatized entry for NTP colon servers dot each at line number 71. These entries will get the values from higher a data directory. Higher a data directory may have a common file or operating system specific YAML files. Common file used for common parameters which will remain same in all operating systems and OS specific YAML files will be checked only if system factor value match with the operating system. So here we will edit the operating system specific Red Hat family YAML file so edit the file and add your NTP servers like for testing I will add servers as real one and the DevOps cloud. Now save the file and rerun Puppet Agent on Node 1. Before Agent Run just node down the server's entries or back up the ntp.conf file before deploying the module in production environment. As a result of Puppet Run NTP server entries got changed from the default to the one we specified. To verify just grep the output of servers in ntp.conf file. So with HireEye you can edit the user data without any changes in code, and Code Manager will automatically deploy the environment for you. Ok, so in this section we have successfully configured the NTP module and tested it on Node 1 with the help of Hire on Code Manager. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.